Fans were excited for what was expected to be an easy Spartan win, but apparently no one told the Gophers that they were supposed to play dead. Minnesota wasted no time getting on the board as quarterback Marquise Gray threw two touchdowns to wide receiver Dijon McKnight in the first quarter. Well, the Spartans only managed to find the end zone once. MSU seemed to wake up in the second quarter when LeVon Bell busted into the end zone from one yard out to tie the game for the Spartans. Minnesota was held to just a field goal in the second quarter, and MSU took its first lead of the game on a two-yard touchdown reception by Todd Anderson with five seconds remaining in the half. Minnesota struck back in the third quarter when Gray hooked up with McKnight for the duo's third touchdown of the day. In the second half, the Spartans added a field goal, and a 36-yard touchdown run by Bell put the Spartans ahead. Trent Robinson picked off the driving Gophers with seconds remaining in the fourth, sealing the Spartans' 31-24 victory. One of the keys to this victory is the improvement of the Spartans' defense in the second half. Yeah, our kids played, played with emotion in the fourth quarter, and, and uh, we kind of played down early, I think. And, um, and uh, again, the most important thing is playing great fourth quarter defense, and uh, it was a dominating performance in the fourth quarter, that's for sure. William Golston turned in another impressive game at defensive end, recording 14 total tackles, bringing his total tackles in the past two games to 29. The Spartans hope that Golston and the rest of the defense can keep up the effort next week when they travel to Iowa. Uh, and it's a road opportunity, and we've got to go play well on the road in a tough situation, tough environment. But we need to expect that and, um, and rise above it. East Lansing, Patrick Lyons, Home TV.